to a live story time with me, Miss Ferreira, and our friend, Eddie the Elephant. Eddie's got a new special space to sit now, very close to us for our story. Before we start our story about a turtle, can we please get our wiggles out? One, two, three. I wiggle my fingers and I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my ears and I wiggle my nose. Now there are no more wiggles in me. I can sit as quiet as can be. Today's story is called Little Turtle and the Sea. I can see the little turtle on our front cover. Our author is Becky Davies and our illustrator is Jenny Poe. Here is our book's spine and our back cover has a little blurb. Let's start reading. Little Turtle and the Sea. It began with a thunderstorm. The rain lashed and the waves crashed as Little Turtle pushed her way out of the nest and onto the sudden sand. She needed to be quick, one flipper in front of the other. She pulled herself down the beach towards the sea and safety. Thunder rammed over the sky as Little Turtle slipped into the sea for the very first time. The water rose to meet her and she was tossed and turned in the spray. Which way was up? Tiny Turtle splashed all around her, calling, Swim! Swim! Just when Little Turtle's flippers were tiring, she managed to hitch a ride. Her journey had begun. Warm currents carried Little Turtle over a carpet of colour. She danced with the swaying seagrass. She swam with fish of every shape and size. What beauty, she said, happy and content. Little Turtle climbed into a cozy cave and slept. Months passed and Turtle was no longer little. She had outgrown her hidey hole. But she would never outgrow the ocean. Turtle swam onwards through mile after mile of dazzling open water. She was quite alone and yet she didn't even feel lonely. The ocean was her friend. At last, Turtle's journey was complete. She had made it to the other side of the world. Home sighed Turtle, and what a home it was. Foraging and feeding, Turtle lived there happily for many years, until one day it was time for her to return. Turtle swam across the ocean back to the beach where she had been born. She made this journey many times, but found that the same journey was always different. Turtle too was different. As she grew each year, her love for the ocean grew with her. She saw new sights, made new friends and welcomed some little turtles into the world. Then one day, the ocean itself was different. Colors disappeared and Turtle found strange new creatures swimming beside her. Friend, she asked, but she was met with silence. The strangeness grew and grew and Turtle felt lost in the places she knew most. Nowhere looked the same. The ocean no longer felt like a friend. Hello, 
she spoke into the darkness, but Turtle was alone. Just when Turtle thought her journey was over forever, figures emerged from the strangeness and swam towards her. Turtle was freed. Little by little, she watched as they tended the seagrass, the coral, and her friends. Thank you, she said. They had returned her to the ocean. And began to return Turtle's ocean to her. It was beautiful once more, and she loved it with her whole heart. What an important lesson from the story, Eddie. We can't put any litter or any rubbish on any ground, never mind near our ocean. It really, really hurts our beautiful creatures. If you like listening to the story, please click the thumbs up.